Hi guys, I'm Barbara and this is Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or anything else, um, you will find it in the description box below. So just hit that more button, the word more, and it'll take you there. Let's get into your energy, Cancer. So I feel like somebody wants to take a leap towards the drama. So whatever somebody could be naive about the drama, they could be um, half, you know, it's like they're, you may be just walking through life being um, not paying attention to any kind of red flags and there's drama all around you, but you're not paying attention because you're, you know, just you know, uh, being foolish about the drama possibly. Okay. So let's get into it. All 12 signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, there's a choice between two and a queen of one. Uh, Aries has a choice to make. Okay. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, they want justice with you. Cancer. If you're dealing with a Gemini, there's, they may be fighting with you. There may be an argument with you. If you're dealing with another cancer, it's been a long time. Um, it's been a long time coming, but I feel like they want to work and collaborate with you. They want to rebuild. If you're dealing with a Leo, their wish fulfillment is to hold back. If you're dealing with a Virgo, uh, they want a new beginning in love in this relationship. If you're dealing with a, uh, a Libra, Libra's back and forth about the situation. If you're dealing with a uh, Scorpio, they want to recover something from the past. <clears throat> If you're dealing with a Sag, Sag is looking back at the past where there was no equal give and take. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's very guarded and defensive because of a tower moment. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person loves you. There's, there's a family situation with a partner. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's out in the cold, it's illuminating somebody being left out in the cold. So let's get into this cancer cancer. You may be having your head in the clouds when it comes to the drama, you're acting like you're not paying attention to the red flags possibly, but there's a lot of strife, jealousy, competition, and drama around you. So you need to not be naive to the drama. So let's get into this cancer. Tell me about cancer, please. Cancer, you may be holding back from something. You're a little trapped in your head. Your wish fulfillment, baby. Okay, so I feel like maybe you're holding on. You're holding on. You're trapped in your head. Your wish fulfillment is the emperor here. And you're wanting to move forward. But there has to be a cycle that's closed out. This karmic cycle has to end. There is a queen of wands. There is a third party here. There is a third party here. And I feel like that um, this is a third party choice. Somebody may be recovering from something that's hidden or recovering from an illusion. Someone was very strategic, back and forth. This person was very back and forth about something. They were juggling something. Queen of Swords. I don't know if that's you. I feel like that's the other person. So Cancer, I feel like this person's back and forth being very strategic. This third party is trying to play mind games and manipulate you. They're trying to mind, they're playing mind games and manipulating you. You got to look at the bigger picture when it comes to this King of Pentacles burden. Now this King of Pentacles could be masculine, could be feminine, take it how it resonates, but don't be naive with that, with that, um, with that fool under the bottom. Don't be a fool here, cancer. You have to look at the bigger picture. Something's you're not seeing it. You're not seeing the thing, what you need to see.
This also could be somebody is holding on very trapped in their head. Their wish is to take control to move forward, but there's a, there's a cycle that's got to end. Something's got to end here. What's happening with this? So it's this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles may be holding back. This may not even be you, Cancer. This may be this King of Pentacles, maybe holding on, trapped in their head, wishing to take control and have a new beginning, right? They got to move forward, but they got to close out a cycle because you're their Ten of Cups. There is a third party here. There's a third party choice. Somebody from the past. They're at a crossroads about this person. But something's hidden that they've got to recover from. King of Wands. This may be the Emperor in a lower vibration. This person's needing clarity. Uh, I feel like they're recovering from an illusion. I feel like they're coming. It's almost like they're coming out. They're getting some clarity finally, right? So if this person like put a blockage between you and this other person, now they can finally see it. King of Wands. This person was back and forth. It's trapped in their head juggling, right? Queen of Swords, they're juggling. Tell me why they're juggling. Yeah, it has to do with the illusion of something. It's been a long time coming. Okay, so you have somebody who who is, you know, it's almost like be very uh, aware of this cancer. One of these is you and one of these is the king of pentacles. This person is back and forth between the two of you with an illusion. Somebody is attacking you, then they're attacking them. Then they're attacking you, then they're attacking them, right? They want there to be sleepless nights for both of you. Like they're back and forth for both of you to have sleepless nights with an illusion for a long time. Okay. But this person's coming awake. This person's waking up. This King of Wands emperor is waking up to the fact, right? So again, see with that five of swords, this third party is trying to cause mind games and manipulation to you cancer. And I feel like you're being naive to the drama. You're not paying attention to the drama here. Offering you unhappiness. This third party wants to offer you unhappiness, right? That's their wish fulfillment. They don't want, they want the victory. They're wishing for a victory, this third party, right? They don't want there to be any equal give and take between you and your person, right? You got to see the bigger picture when it comes to this King of Wands or King of Pentacles because there's burden, right? They may feel a lot of regret or remorse for not seeing the bigger picture. That's what I'm feeling like. This King of Pentacles, King of Wands, Emperor Energy may have a lot of guilt or remorse for not seeing the bigger picture, right? Looking from at a different perspective because they haven't spoken to you. The, the truth has not been spoken, right? About this commitment. But there's love here between the two of you and they're manifesting that they want to work with you. They want to work on this broken heart. This person knows that they've done, they've done wrong by you, cancer. Um, they're seeing, they're waking up from whatever nonsense that has been put on them and they're realizing what they need to do, what they want to do where you're concerned. Okay. And this other person thinks they're going to get a victory, but this person's not getting nothing. They're not getting anything in the end. Tell me about what's happening. You got you're lightening the load. So, so you're releasing yourself from some kind of a burden and prosperity is going to come because you've lightened the load. Uh, you've been inspired. You're healing a situation with peace. Okay. So maybe cancer, you were naive about how this person was handling things, but I feel like that third party well, it's your life purpose is under the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I feel like that third party did had, um, yeah. I, okay. So realistically, this is, this is what is part of your life purpose. You're, you're an empress here because here's the emperor 
And this is going, you're going to have good luck with this person. Maybe you were naive to what was happening, but this person woke up. They're going to help you through this. Tell me about cancer. See, there was burdens. The burdens have been illuminated. And I feel like this person's coming towards you. Um, because you guys have had these dark clouds over you for a while, right? They didn't want you seeing what you needed to see. They were attacking you at night when you were asleep. I feel like with this dark cloud, this has been, it's almost, things were unclear, but I feel like this is going to, you're going to get a message. Things are going to open up. This person's coming in as a friend, a loyal friend for a new beginning. Okay. So whatever's happening, um, I feel like you've gone through it. You've gone through a dark time and I feel like, um, there will be communication. So I almost feel like you may be a little at a crossroads here, but I do feel like it's a gift. A gift is coming towards you when you meet up with this person. I feel like you're going to, that what have, whatever's been hidden is coming to light here for you, cancer. So cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Um, and if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week.